yeah uh, good morning everyone so let's start for today's class so i hope you guys know right how to configure the systems in sap logon pad so sap logon pad sap logon pad is the so one of the user interface so if you want to open the sap screen you need to configure the entry in sap logon pad so this is our sap logon pad so few entries i have configured why because here we have that the systems are already installed so that's why i have configured the i have configured the this sap uh, systems in our sap logon pad let's see few more systems also our our guys are installed so let's see what are those so like someone installed the s4f so jay so they have installed it so ecp so these are the sap systems so we can see here all are installed and all are in the green status so how to configure these systems okay so if you if you go here there is a new button just click on the new button new connection just click on the next button here just give the description description anything you can give the description to remember so application server name where you installed the where you installed the sap sap so sap system so this is the sap windows is our host name 02 is our instance number instance number 02 is our instance number s4f is the our so sid so i have configured just click on the click on the next button so here entry is added here just if you double click it your sap screen is opened see here here sap screen is opened this way we have to configure the entry then we have to work it out right so this is the way we have to log in so let's log in our system one of the system like ecp or any system you can log in and you can do the practice so here i am logging to the ecp system okay ecp system i am connecting continue with this login without ending any other logons okay so this is the way we have to log in so yesterday we discussed about so work process updates nq and some other general transaction ports as well so was like st22 so dumps right st22 we checked like this is for the runtime dump if you open it you can see the there is a one dump is created yesterday so one dump is created that is called the 438 so one dump is created if you double click on it so we will give the exact error why this dump got error you can see the above program error raise exception okay so what is the component when this dump got occurred so what is the short text what happened the program as encountered so yesterday we discussed so regarding the st22 so then notes so what exactly happened all the information how to correct the error so all the information is available here all the information available in the here just if you, if you see here what happened what can i do here so how to correct the error information on where terminated so all the information is code so all this information is available here so based on that we have to fix the issues which user and dds user so dds user which client yesterday got acted what is the program and what is the screen so what is the line so all the information you can see here what is the active call all the information is occurred here all the information we can see here so so based on that we can get the respective nodes respective nodes we can get from the sap marketplace so uh, based on that we can we can have to fix the issues this is the this is where the dumps are occurred means st22 yesterday we have seen right st22 for the above runtime error there is the st22 okay apart from that so apart from that so let's see so we discussed about the d v e right so dve discussed dve b m g s yes, this is the total seven work process we have five plus two right so here so dialog we discussed update we discussed nq what is nq what is the nq means 
n cube locking mechanism locking mechanism sm12 we can see the lock entries and everything if the lock entries are older than 24 hours or older than 48 hours so it's a older than depends upon the our organization set the rule so we can go ahead and remove the lock entry from sm12 transaction code but before removing just had a conversation with your manager the manager is okay to remove the so this lock and use a uh, lock entry from the sm12 then we can go ahead and remove the lock entry okay so locking mechanism all the lock entries we can see in sm12 so the next one is very important that is called the so b b for background work process okay this is called the background work process it's a very very it's a very very important background work process here so background work process are responsible to run anything in the back end as a background job okay background work process is responsible to run the either program or reports in the so in the back end mode in the back end in the back end means without user intervention our our program our reports our things will be done our things will be done in the back end without user intervention so dialogue work process in the dialogue mode user will execute the program or report they will execute it but in the back end system automatically it will create a system automatically system automatically it will execute the program or report without user intervention without user intervention system will create it depends upon the timelines which you schedule it so that will create it for this one we need to create a one job one job we have to create it one job that is called the one background job one background job we have to create it so what this job will do whatever the inputs whatever the program whatever the report you are executing in the front end front end it means dialogue mode front end means in the dialogue mode system automatically will take care of it will execute in the back end in the back end it will automatically it will execute it that is called the background job background job okay job will do the work in the back end without user functionality so to schedule the job to schedule the job we should know so, you got it right <coughs> what is job okay so you you got right what is this job means job means in the back end all user actions will be completed without user intervention which means if you one time if you schedule the job automatically system will take care of all the actions whatever the timelines you have to execute it system automatically will take care of all these things system will automatically will execute of the all the jobs and everything so how to schedule the jobs okay in the dialogue mode normally in the dialogue mode we will log in and we will we will do the our work right in the dialogue mode dialogue work process will take care of our work then you will go to the any one of the transaction code then you will see the all the outputs all the transactions we are executing this is called the dialogue mode in the dialogue mode all the transactions are we are executing in the dialogue mode we are executing the all the transaction codes we are executing here all the transaction codes we are executing in the dialogue mode right same as like so you don't want to log into the dialogue you want to schedule the one job automatically system will take care of that job so whatever you want to do in the dialogue mode same way so in the system will back end it automatically it will take care so for that one we need to create a one job job we have to create it for that we have to execute we have, we have to use the two transaction codes sm36 and sm37 so sm36 is for the is for the scheduling the scheduling the background job scheduling the background job it's very important guys this background job concept is very very important in each and every interview they will ask this question or in the real time also we will have a scope we will get the work to 
షెడ్యూల్ ద బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ జాబ్ టు షెడ్యూల్ ద బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ జాబ్స్ సో ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ది కాన్సెప్ట్ దిస్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఓకే ఎస్ఎం థర్టీ సిక్స్ ఈస్ ఫర్ ది షెడ్యూల్ ఇన్ ద బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ జాబ్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు గో టు ద ఎస్ఎం థర్టీ సిక్స్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ కోడ్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు షెడ్యూల్ ద జాబ్ ఓకే గో టు ఎస్ఎం థర్టీ సిక్స్ హియర్ దెన్ యూ విల్ గెట్ ద సి డిఫైన్ ద బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ జాబ్ విచ్ మీన్స్ క్రియేట్ ఏ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ జాబ్ హియర్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఎంటర్ ద బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ జాబ్ నేమ్ so normally if i take one example normally all persons at the end of the month we are getting this about if you are the so 70000 so more than 1 lakh users if many are there normally all persons will get the salaries at a time right so how how this is working right so all persons will get the salaries at a time so all the banks we will get the salaries from at a time all persons all persons will get the messages at a time calls we will get at a time so at a time we will bulk we will get the at a time how, how are there any persons sending the google pay phone pay or account transfer to our account salaries no right automatically in midnight or so end of the day we will get the salaries how means so they will execute the one job one payroll jobs payroll jobs they will execute it salary jobs they will execute it payroll jobs means salary jobs they will execute it so once the job is completed all persons we will get the so salaries how how that is completed how they are executing if they are using for payroll purpose if they are using sap they have to go sm36 okay sm36 is for the scheduling the background jobs here just you can just to Uh, type the job name salary suppose i uh, just executing the salary salary is the one of the job so just go to the job name you can find you have to provide the job name. any name you can provide it which is meaningful okay so class we have the three types of class are the job class are three types high priority middle priority and low priority high priority middle priority low priority so what is this priority means suppose this job is very important which means high priority then you can schedule it the high priority so this is not much important so means you can just just to you can select the important that's this is from the priority so this is the payroll job which means it's a very high priority job so then we have to set the so job class is a okay then go to the job steps we have job steps we have three types of job steps are there three types of job steps are there you can see three types of job steps one is the above program job steps are three types okay job steps three types one is the above program above program it's very important they will ask you during the interviews how many types of job steps so three types of job steps external command and external programs external commands and external programs okay next above program above program means so three types of job steps here okay so above program means so what is the program you have to execute in the back end what is the program we have to execute in the back end is it above program or external command or external program external means outside of the sap okay it's a non sap outside of the sap outside of the sap screen so that's why it's called the external command so external above program so what is the program you are going to execute it so normally normally we will get the this details from the our functional or development folks they will give you the the job details and everything they will give you the the job details they will give you the job details so job details and variants all these details they will provide to us so this is our system right here we we can see the some of the programs actually we can see the programs in the system so you can go ahead and search the programs why because during the installation we will get the some of the programs normally all programs starts with the rs star rs stars you can see any one of the programs here all the programs these are the programs sap standard related programs these are the select any one of the program just we are executing right select any one of the program so variant <coughs> program means it's a code program means code above us will write the code 
they will save it as the one program or report. So they will save it as the here. Variant means it will runtime import. It will control the the execution of this program. So if you have variant, we can set it out. If you don't have variant, just leave it the blank. Okay. So I have scheduled the one program. Normally these inputs, these details will be given by our development folks, which means so uh, Java job owner who asked us to schedule the job, they will provide, okay, this is the program. You have to schedule it in the back end. Okay. I have scheduled in the back end. Just go, go back one step back. Okay. Then job step we have given three types of job steps. Okay. Above program, external command, external program. So now we choose the above program. We choose the above program. Then go to the startup conditions. It's a very important. Okay. We have so six types of startup conditions. Okay. You can see immediate. So you want to run the job immediate. Then you can select do the job immediately. Then you can, so you can run it. We want to choose the job in tomorrow or next to one hour, next to one hour. So you can set the timelines. You can set the timelines. You can set the timelines as well. So suppose one job is running, you want to run the job after that job. So, okay, you can schedule that job. So event after the events, events will trigger. And then operational modes, okay? Operational modes, you want to schedule the so job through operational modes. This is one of the concepts we are going to discuss operational modes. So in which, in which timelines you are going to schedule the job? Is it one time activity? You want to schedule that daily? So like that, you have to schedule it. Suppose, Immediate I have selected. So if you see here in the bottom periodic values. So you want to run the hourly daily. Suppose I want to run. The, sorry, this is a monthly job, right? Payroll is the monthly job. So then I choose the monthly. So monthly we have to run the job. So monthly we have to run the job. Any restrictions? Suppose you don't want to run. You don't not in the always like public holidays. So like normally. Sundays in the public college, we won't get the salary. Then we, this one, we can select it. Or you can just select the always execute the job. Just click on the save button. Just click on the save button. Okay. So you selected the job step. You selected the job startup conditions. So monthly, monthly one time it is running. Just click on the save button. Monthly click on the save button. The job will be released status. You can see the job is released status. So released. So now job is released. Then where can we go ahead and monitor the job, whether the job is uh, successfully completed or what exactly happening with job. Go to the SM37 is the transaction code. Then just if you know the job name, just you can type the job name here. If you don't know job name, just click on the star. Then so these are the status, status of the job status of the job so job status so here also we have the job status okay so here job status will be these are the job status scheduled released ready active finished cancelled just click on the execute button see our job is salary job is executed our salary job is executed which means successfully it's a finished successfully it is finished you can see the z select the job you can see the job lock what exactly happened yes the program which we selected is successfully finished which means so if the program is real now so definitely all persons will get the salaries here all persons will get the salaries so this is the status of the job so this is the status of the job so we have so six types of status of the jobs. So you can see the scheduled. So when the when you are creating the job, that time job status is scheduled status. When you assign the timelines, when you assign the timelines, that is a released status. So then the ready timelines means you will assign the one timeline. So now in next ten minutes, it is uh, next ten minutes job could be run. Then it's ready. Then active means currently the job is running. Finished means job is successfully finished. Cancelled means the job got cancelled due to some error. What is that error means? If you check the job log, then you will get the error message. You will get the error message. 
okay this is the way we have to schedule the jobs and we have to monitor the jobs it's a very important for the sap side so why because <clears throat> normally so suppose if the sap system is using in the payroll purpose so in the month and we have to critical jobs will run so that those jobs we have to clearly monitor it and then we have to check it and if any jobs are in error we have to report it okay so once again we see here so we have that three types of job steps above program normally normally so if any program has to execute we have to go to sa38 transaction code and we have to execute the program right so normal program normally in the dialog mode if we want to execute the program we have to go to the sa38 or se38 for the programs just take a note program and reports execution program and report execution so if any developer if any functional people they want to execute any program or develop uh, any program or any reports they have to go to the this transaction codes se38 or se38 and they have to execute the program name so they have to execute the program name just they have to just execute the any one of the program they have to execute it just select the program maybe you can just browse it here this is the browse button okay if you don't know the program name just click on the browse button then you will see the list of programs here okay normally the program starts with the rs it starts okay so rs starts so just click on button you will get the list of programs here okay list of programs you will get from here okay so just select any one of the program then just click on the execute button okay just click on the execute button that will be executed see now it is executing in the dialog mode it is executing the dialog mode this is this got error the dump got generated this got error and we got the exception dump got generated okay so this got error and the dump got ended due to this some program error the program error the dump got error so this way we have to execute it manually suppose every day you have to execute it manually we have every day if you have to execute it and it means it's a manual work we have to do that one instead of that go to the sm36 go to the sm36 then execute the so give the one program name suppose like test test program i have given go to the job name you can give anything so then select the program select the above program name just click on the save button program name click on the save button go back provide the startup conditions click on the immediate you have to execute it or i don't want to run the immediate i want to execute in suppose today is 7 right so time what is the time so what is the time now 214 so us time is 214 it's then i want to execute so 216 i want to execute it then schedule it schedule it just click on the okay button then this one then your job is released status job is released status so at two so 217 to 218 the job will be executed the job will be executed here nothing is there so just click on the scheduled just execute it so you will get the job name you will get the job name here so just check the timeline set the timelines so you see the so test job test job we created now this is released status when this will be released means 216 this will be released so what is the system time means so if you go to the system we go to the status system status then you will see the the current system time you will get the current system time so current system time you will get it out okay evening 5 15 the timelines is the evening 5 15 we wrongly given okay so 5 15 during this time so see current system time we can see here if you go to the system status system status so you will see the the sorry system status you will see the the timelines the when you are you know when is the your previous login so login time system time so time zone in cet all the details like which transaction code currently you are in so what is your host data so what is your machine name what is your database name so what is your database sid 
So all the details will be available in the in the system status in the system status. Okay, so system status, all the details are available in the system status. This way, we have to execute the our jobs. We have to execute our job. This is the way we have to execute our jobs and everything, right? So this is the way. So so this is the job flow. Normally, this is the way we have to manually execute it. But to avoid this manual executions, so we have to trigger a job. We have to create a job. We have to set the timelines we have to create a job we have to set the timelines based on that this will be executed automatically go to the sm36 so once again i am showing see here go to the sm36 just test one job i am executing just first we need to click on that step job steps either above program or external commands or external programs whatever you want you can execute it now we will choose the external commands so what do this external commands means? So it's like some OS level operating system level commands. It will be automatically you have some things here. Just select any one of these things. Okay, what is the OS here you want to give? So we this was to execute in the Windows, right? Windows OS. What is the target server? All these details you have to fill it out. Okay, so all these details you have to fill it. You have to fill the all the details. I have so I have filled the details. Just go back. Then job step we have given either the above program external command external program either any one of the field we have to fill it there are the three types of job steps so you have to fill it anything then now timings we have to assign it go to the startup conditions what are the job startup conditions so sometimes interviewer will interviewer will ask the questions so how many types of job steps and what are the job steps immediate daytime after job after event operational mode these are the job startup conditions just click on the immediate click on the save button so immediately you want to run this job then click on the save button when you click on the save button when you assign the timelines when you click on the save button the job status will be released released okay job status is released then where we have to monitor whether this job is successfully completed or not sm37 so just click on the execute button our test job is cancel the status which means it's got failed just to select one go to the job log you see what exactly the issue what exactly the issue you can see the issue here <clears throat> okay so you can see the issue here so based on that we can find out the error log when we got the error so all this job got cancelled program got cancelled the event external program got terminated so so this is the way we have to check and we have to report okay so job not only finished status cancelled job will be get cancelled as well if any errors are occurred job will get cancelled okay so here what you need to remember what you need to remember is normally if any program or report execution we have to go to from se38 or se38 so to avoid this manual execution we have to create a one job one background job we have to create it during the job creation we have three types of job steps important so three types of job steps three types of job steps one is the above program the external program okay and external command so these are the three types of jobs we three types of job steps so okay so and uh, job startup conditions okay job startup conditions these are the startup condition when you want to start the job that is called the startup so conditions so suppose immediate suppose you want to run the job immediate no 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 i want i don't want to run the job in immediate i want to run the job in the day and time i want to give the day and time then that is fine after event suppose you want to run the job after event so after job then operational modes so anyone you can choose it here that is the job startup conditions then job steps okay job status status of the job so when you are creating the job that is in the scheduled status then after that released status then it will go to the ready ready for execution then active then finished if job is successfully completed 
then finished then cancel status okay this status we can see in sm37 then this one we can see in sm36 and this one we can see in sm36 okay these three are very very important so we have to we should know what are the how many types of job steps what are the job startup conditions and job status so we have to tell like otherwise scheduled released ready active finished cancelled first job will go scheduled status when you assign the timelines timelines mean the startup condition then it will go to the released status then active active ready active means job, job is running finished means job job is successfully finished cancelled means the job is successfully so for job is failed status due to some errors these things we can see in sm37 all these things we have to execute in the sm36 is the transaction code okay transaction code we have to <coughs> execute it so suppose only job creation we have to do in sm36 only creation job creation we have to do it in the only sm36 so remaining all the steps we have to go to the sm37 we have to do everything from here suppose you want to delete all the steps like all administration steps suppose you want to monitor the job whether the job is successfully completed or not so sm37 you want to delete the job you want to stop the job so you want to change the job you want to change the job scheduling you want to repeat the job so whatever you want you want to delete you want to change the status to scheduled to release it to ready so all these things we have to do it from suppose you want to create the new job suppose i want to create the by using this one i want to use the one new job i want to create just click the new job and copy then that job will be created so based on that that job will be created this way we have to execute the this way we have to execute the jobs suppose the time job time suppose you have to check today and tomorrow which are the jobs going to execute then you can schedule it you can check it out okay the test job still scheduled release status only so like that we have to execute the jobs suppose you want to delete the job just select it just to go back to the job menu just to delete it this job will be deleted suppose you want to run the job just you want to change the job status to release it to scheduled scheduled means the timelines will be deleted so like that we have if you want to delete if you want to change the status whatever you want to do you have to do everything you have to change the status so everything we have to do it from sm37 okay sm37 we have to do that one okay let's start this is the way we have to execute the jobs and we have to create the jobs and suppose if you want to do anything either deletion creation changes so check in the logs all these things we have to do it from the sm37 only 37 we have to see the logs so why this job got failed so any logs you want to check you can check it out from here so what is the job step here mentioned so it's a so most of the things here job step is executed job step is very important so job step is very very important here so in sm 37 36 we have to we have to give the job name suppose i am just creating one more thing so give the c job name example one okay job step suppose here give the external program or external command whatever you want to give you can give it okay whatever they want to give you can just give the commands so just choose like if you don't know the program name just to choose it you will get the list of programs here you can choose any one of the program just click on the so save button okay just click on the save button go back and just go to the startup conditions so just click on the immediate suppose i want to run the job immediately just click on the immediate then you want to what is the periodic value you want to run the daily this job okay run daily just click on the save then you click on the save button only job we have to schedule it in the sm36 suppose i want to cancel that job then you have to immediately you have to go to the sm37 then you have to cancel already it's executed completed successfully 
then you no need to do that one. It's already completed. <coughs> it's already completed. So that's why so a job is successfully completed. You can see here what is the status of the job. Job status we discussed, right? Job status. So scheduled, released, ready, active, finished, cancelled. Three status of the jobs. Okay. We have the six status of the jobs. Okay. So these things we can see. Suppose you want to delete this job log. Just click on the delete from the database level. If you want to stop, suppose the one job is active from long time, you want to stop it, just click on go ahead and stop the active job. You can just stop it out. So like that, so what so whatever the actions you want to perform after creation of the job, you have to come to the SM37, then you have to do that one. So in the real time, how it will work? How we will get the request in the real time? In the real time, in the real time, normally, so our functional people. Uh, they will approach our basis team to creation of the job in SM36. So they will provide you the, the job name. What is the job name and job owner name? And also they will provide us the so program, job steps as well. They will provide us. Based on this, we can and also the timelines, job startup conditions also they will provide to us. Job startup conditions, job startup. So conditions also they will provide to us. Based on that, we have to create the job here. Okay. You should know all these details to create the job. Once you create it, where we have to monitor it? What is the transaction code to monitor the jobs? What is the transaction code? SM37. Yes. SM37. Exactly. Exactly. Excellent. Okay. SM37 is the transaction code to monitor the job. Monitor means whether the job is successfully completed or failed, what happened exactly my job. So you can go ahead and SM37, you can do that one. Okay. It's a very important. So it's a very important. We have to do it. As part of the daily monitoring, we have to go here SM37 and we have to, uh, we have to just, if you know the job name, put, put the, give the job name. If you don't know the job name, give the star. In SAP, if you are giving the star mains, it's all. It's all. All. Okay, if you know the username, just again provide the username. So just click on the execute button, you will get the list of jobs. So we provide the star star, right? All the jobs which are active, which are successfully completed, which are released, all jobs are it showed here. It will displayed here. All the jobs, it's created here. You can see all the jobs is created here. So this is the way. We have to, this is the way we have to, so this is the way we have to do the our work. So this is the way we have to do the our work on the daily basis. We have to check it out. We have to monitor it. Which are the jobs are failed. Suppose you want to check only failed jobs, remove the filter of all these, then just click on the only select only canceled one you will get. Suppose you want to check the only finished jobs. You got the all the finished jobs. So you want to only active jobs, select this one. You want this one. You want to active plus finish, then select these two, just click on it. So whatever you want to do, you have to do it from the SM37 only. Okay. SM36 is for the creation. They will ask you, suppose you want to create the job, you want to create the job. Where can you go ahead and create the job? What is your answer? In SM36, we can create a you know, job and we can uh, monitor a uh, job you know, in SM37. Okay. I want to I want to check the all the cancelled jobs. So what is the transaction code? I can go ahead and check the all the cancelled jobs. SM37. Okay. I want to delete the job. I want to stop the jobs. Where can I SM37. go ahead? SM37. Yes. SM37. yes. yes. Suppose I want to check the status of the job, whether the, my job is completed or my job is failed. Where can I go ahead and check the job? Yes. Okay. So only 36. Just remember only 36 is for the creation of the job. So remaining all the actions, we have to do it from the SM37 only. Okay. So what you need to remember is, so job steps is very important. How many types of job steps? Then job startup conditions are very important then job status. job status status these three are very 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 important interview point how many types of job steps we have 
what are the job startup conditions can you tell me the job status so they will ask you questions these three are very very important so when the job is running when the job is running in the back end one btc work process will be occupied so one btc why because job means dialogue the job means in the dialogue mode user will log in will execute it that time the dialogue work process will take care of your request but whenever in the back end the job is executing that time this background work process will take care of your work okay so back end background work process will take care of your work to run the job in the back end so if you don't have the back background work process what will happen your job will not be executed this is the very important so sometimes your jobs will not be executed still it is same status only because there are no free background jobs here so your jobs are executing successfully in sm37 execute successfully means because there is a, in the back end there is a one work process is free it should be one work process should be free so your background jobs your background work process are helping to run the jobs so it's a very very important so sometimes we will get the due to the so here we have the seven background jobs right seven background work process so at a time seven jobs are running which means all these seven will occupy to the seven seven background jobs so now you are running the eighth background job the job it won't execute it why because the previous seven jobs are already active this seven work process already executing so there is no free background work process what happens in this case your job is in the hold status your job is in the hold status which means so once the any one of the seven is free then immediately next immediately the any one of this work process will go and pick up your job will execute your job okay make sure make sure so any one of the job should any one of the work process should be free okay yeah this is the about the background jobs yeah so any any questions yes, for anyone